Lewis Wilson, head men's basketball coach at the University of Texas at Tyler. Uh, our expectations are, are to come out and compete every single time that we take the floor to represent the, the, the culture and the program that we want, which is one that uh, is bonded uh, together, that uh, we play uh, for, for the purpose of we, which is the central tenet of our program, that, uh, uh, that we, we play to, to win, that we compete to win regardless of who we're competing against. And then more than anything, that we uh, uh, build a foundation uh, for this program, uh, we like to say we're building the foundation for a house that uh, uh, teams can live in for many, many years, even though many of our players are not going to have the opportunity to live in the house. They're doing the work. Uh, so that's the expectation. And more than anything else, that we get better each time we take the floor. What I'm learning is uh, that we have high quality people, guys with high character, young men who really want to be good uh, and who are willing to make sacrifices to do that. Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to see the people in the league play uh, up close, uh, but I, you know, I've been in the business long enough to know that this is, uh, if not the best Division II men's basketball conference in the country, is certainly one of them. So I haven't learned a lot about the teams and about the competition, and I'm happy about that. What I've been focused on is, is my guys uh, and primarily the guys that uh, were with this program last year and previous years. Uh, the new guys, we're still learning about them, uh, but the guys that are returning, were, you know, uh, they and I are building a, a bond of trust uh, so that they can be leaders with me in helping to build the foundation that we desire to have. I think overall we have a lot of guys that I think are going to contribute to us. I'm really excited about the guys. I, I really have a firm belief that you can recruit people, but the key to having a really good program are the people that are in the program, that are already invested in the program. And so for me, I want to see what the, what the returners are able to do to improve on where they were a year ago and the responsibility that they take for the program and their leadership and then you know we have we have new guys coming in as well but we, we're really proud of the fact that we kept every single uh returner that wanted to be here except one and so that, as a coach i'm really proud of that because these young men are going through a transition uh in terms of the school going from division three to division two no fault of their own and to have them here and to have them want to be here and be a part of this uh, means a lot to me First and foremost, I transitioned to us. The only time we even discuss transition is our, in our program is going from offense to defense and defense to offense. Our expectation is to go out and compete, compete uh, like junkyard dogs, to get after people, uh, to do everything that we can as best we can to impose our will in every situation. Our expectation is to compete and deserve to win and we work really hard and so we're not going into this with the idea that we're in some transition and that it matters whether you qualify for the NC2A tournament. Every single game to us is the NC2A tournament and the expectation is that we play every single game with the type of passion that everybody who's watching us can tell uh, that it means something to us. It's not uh, you have nothing to play for. We have everything to play for, and that's the way we're going to approach it. Um, in terms of the program and the transition that you go to, is a difference between Division Three and Division Two. Not better, not worse. It's different. Uh, the, there's a different emphasis on priority. Uh, obviously, anytime scholarships are involved, there's a higher level athlete that you can get at the Division Two level, and this league has lots of them. In my opinion, I think the Lone Star Conference is equivalent to any uh, mid to low major Division One conference in the Western United States and I've had the privilege of coaching in or against all of those schools and I think that certainly the top teams in this league are uh, the middle of the pack at worst in uh, mid to low major leagues in the Western United States so it's going to be a challenge uh, it's a challenge that we look forward to it's a challenge that I can guarantee you that we're going to work hard uh, to be up to what the end result is to us is not as important as we must deserve to win and you deserve to win by the way you go about your business and our guys are working really hard to deserve to win. I think our recruiting class is really good. Uh, you know, you sign nine guys and then you have add Tevin Brown who comes to the team and you pair that up with the guys we have returning. So I'm excited about that. But, you know, your recruiting class ultimately is going to be judged by, you know, uh, results and, and what these guys do in the classroom, in the community and, and of course, on the court. For me, uh, the game begins at the, the beginning, the middle and the end is how you defend. Um, 
if I had to win a game two to zero or a hundred to eighty five, I'd be much happier winning a game two to zero as a coach. I'd be happy to win the game anyway, but uh, I just believe that the best basketball teams, the best teams in team sport, are the teams that have a defensive mindset. Uh, because that requires a tremendous amount of unselfishness, a collectivism that speaks to the other end of the floor. Uh, you may struggle to score the ball on some nights, but defense doesn't go into slumps if you're a good defensive team, and that includes rebounding the ball. Uh, so uh, my preference is that we win and we play well and we play fast and that we uh, get in situations where we can score before the defense can set. Uh, and that we defensively do a great job of not pressing, but pressuring people, forcing them to do things they don't want to do. Top of our door in our locker room says defend or die. Uh, and that means in the basketball sense, of course, you either are going to guard or you're going to lose. And we believe that and that's the way we go about things. Tariq Bennett, senior point guard from Dallas, Texas. Well, I expect us to actually do pretty well this year. I feel like we added a couple new guys this year that will help us uh, be successful in the Division II conference this year. I feel like one similar thing with everyone is that we're all committed to getting better. Uh, we're always sending each other videos of us working out on our own time and just getting shots up and lifting weights. And I feel like we all encourage each other to be better. So I feel like that's one key thing that's going to help us be successful. We learned different things about each other that we like would never would have known if we didn't have this retreat. So even with the coaches, like we all like understand each other better. And now that we had that retreat, we know what we want and what we expect like as a team. Awesome. Uh, who's the best at NBA 2K? Uh, me. I actually won the video game championship, so I'll yeah. take that title. But last year we were in a situation where we didn't know if we were going to be able to come back or not, and luckily or. Thankfully, Coach Wilson all brought us all back, so and he expects us to be like the leaders of the team. Uh, defense is like a big part because we, we want to play really fast on the court, and to get buckets, you got to get stops. So that's going to be our like first priority in the games this year. Great. Uh, so I know it's going to be a little tough challenge, and we're going to have a lot of turbulence and a lot of things that don't go our way, but I feel like we got a good group to where we could bounce back from a lot of those things and like be successful in this conference. I would say we were probably one of the hardest working senior classes that this school has ever experienced because we've been through the bad and we've been or well, about to go through the good, which is the going Division Two is probably the best thing that's happened for this school athletically. So to be a part of both of those things, we just want to leave a legacy like no matter how you start, it's about how you finish. And as a senior class, we were here last year and we, we had a, a really tough year. So I believe this year we can prove ourselves to like the community and Tyler as a, as a whole and the whole country that, that we're worth it and we're gonna be successful in this conference.